Welcome, everyone, to our live on-orbit conversations with the Axiom Mission 1 crew. On Friday, April 8th at 8.17 8, a.m. Pacific, 11.17 a.m. Eastern, the AX-1 crew, the world's first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station, lifted off aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft from historic launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I'm Trisha Bhattacharya, a crew systems lead at Axiom Space, based out of Houston, Texas. And I'm Andy Tran, a quality engineer here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. It is great to have you here with us, Trisha. Our crew has been in orbit for just over 16 hours now, and over that time they've uh, taken off or doffed their spacesuits, had a couple of meals on board Dragon, checked in with our medical team, and about an hour ago woke up and finish, finished their sleep period. Dragon has also completed a series of burns or engine firings to gradually raise its altitude closer to the International Space Station. But for now, the crew is awake, and we are looking forward to hearing directly from them about what the flight's been like so far. While we wait, let's take a moment to meet the crew. The AX-1 mission is commanded by retired NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, a Spanish-American who was born in Madrid, Spain, and is also called Mission Viejo, California, as well as Boston, Massachusetts home. Michael is a U.S. Navy captain and has flown three times aboard the space shuttle and once aboard Soyuz. He has conducted 10 spacewalks in his career, accumulating 67 hours and 40 minutes in the vacuum of space, both of which are NASA records. In 2021, he was inducted into the Astronaut Hall of Fame. The pilot for AX-1 is Larry Connor from Dayton, Ohio. Larry is an entrepreneur, nonprofit activist, investor. He has won aerobatic flying competitions and summited both Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Rainier. Through AX-1, he will become the first private pilot to reach the International Space Station. He will also become the first human to reach both the deepest ocean depths and enter the bounds of outer space within one year. Larry has been actively involved with the Mayo Clinic and the Cleveland Clinic for many years, helping to understand the, age, the effects of aging. This mission will add new dimensions to several of these studies. Serving as Mission Specialist 1, Aton Stiba is now the second Israeli ever to fly to space. Aton served for more than four decades as a fighter pilot in the Israeli Air Force, where he received the Distinguished Aviator Medal, and today he is an impact investor and philanthropist. In collaboration with the Ramon Foundation, the Israel Space Agency, and the Ministry of Innovation, Science, and Technology, as well as the Ministry of Education, Stiba is flying to the ISS under the Rakia banner and the maxim, there is no dream beyond reach. During his time on the ISS, Stiba will facilitate scientific experiments, educational outreach, and artistic activities. And completing our crew, Mark Pathy is an entrepreneur, investor, and philanthropist, as well as Mission Specialist 2 on this AX-1 mission. Pathy is currently the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Montreal-based Maverick, a privately owned investment and financing company he founded that focuses on innovation and social impact. As a strong believer in the importance of philanthropy, Pathy is a member of the boards and executive committees of the Montreal Children's Hospital Foundation, Don LaRue, and the Pathy Family Foundation. Through the AX-1 mission, Pathy has become Canada's second private astronaut and the 12th Canadian to go to space. This four-person private astronaut crew is just beginning their 10-day mission to the International Space Station, but already they've had an incredibly busy day. The mission began early on Friday with the Axiom crew handover from Axiom to SpaceX. From there, the crew arrived at the suit-up room in the Falcon Sport Building, where the SpaceX team to help the AX-1 astronauts suit up in preparation for heading to the launch vehicle. Upon arriving at the launch pad, the crew ascended the 265-foot fixed service structure and crossed the crew access arm to board the Dragon capsule. After performing final checkouts, including suit leak checks and comms checks, the closeout team departed the pad in preparation for launch. At 8.17 a.m. Pacific, Dragon lifted off from historic pad 39A. Our Falcon 9 first stage, a few minutes later, returned to Earth for a landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And a few minutes after that, Dragon successfully separated from the Falcon 9 second stage and deployed its nose cone and is now making its way toward the International Space Station. The crew flying on today's mission includes members representing Spain, Canada, Israel, and the United States. Each has a story all their own, and through this mission, there three new names will be added to the list of astronauts who have flown into orbit.
As for the live on-orbit event, as you can imagine, communicating with a spacecraft that's moving 17,500 miles per hour can be pretty tricky. If you've watched previous crew missions, you know that we can only talk to the crew when they're flying over a designated ground station. The amount of time we have connectivity with the crew varies depending on the location of the ground station and the position of the spacecraft on orbit. For this particular opportunity, we expect to have the crew for about 10 minutes. Um, so we are expecting the crew to join us at any moment, so stay with us. And the next voices you should hear uh, will be that of the AX-1 crew. Dragon, SpaceX, you are go for the event. Stand by five seconds and then start. Good morning, day or evening or night, Earth. This is the Good Ship Endeavor. Uh, on our way to the International Space Station on this historic mission of first private astronaut crew. We're currently over the southern tip of South America, flying in a path that will take us over the South Atlantic to Nigeria, out over around Cairo, and uh, up into Lebanon, Syria, and then into Asia. 
We're traveling at about 8,000 kilometers, uh, sorry, 8,000 meters per second, 8 kilometers per second. That's about a little over 17,000 miles an hour at about 415 kilometers or so, so about 240 miles or so. Our destination is the International Space Station. We plan to get there in just a few hours. My crewmates and I have an eight-day, very packed schedule of scientific activities and outreach, and we are very much looking forward to getting there. So far, our Crew Dragon's been our home. We had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Um, after launching yesterday, for us, it was very exciting, obviously. What a ride. Uh, I think there were smiles that are still wearing uh, this being worn by the crew this morning. So now I'd like to turn it over to Mark Passy, my crewmate, although I'm going to hold the microphone because he's got something else he's holding. Yeah, hi, this is uh, Mark, this is, and this is Caramel. Caramel was our, is our zero gravity indicator. Caramel was tucked away next to ATAN for uh, launch and then uh, floated up and let us know that we were in zero G when that moment came. Caramel needs to be kept on a on a bit of a leash because uh, uh, he likes to take walks or floats and flips. Oh. Go on, Caramel. Caramel, get back here. Oop, uh, he's gone for a little float. And we all have trouble actually not floating. We're I mean, just getting used to zero G and and uh, everything that entails and all the challenges that presents, but we're getting used to it. So by the time we get to the space station, we should be ready to rock. Feeling good. Yes, good morning, afternoon, evening to uh, everyone. So first I'd like to thank uh, SpaceX for an amazing vehicle and for Axiom to putting all this together. So all my uh, crewmates, it's a bit of a tight uh, quarters here, but we're doing well. The launch itself was absolutely amazing and thrilling. Uh, the commander was diplomatic. We were hooting and hollering a little bit on the way uh, way up. Zero G is very, very neat. Takes a little bit getting used to. I tried to eat a muffin this morning. That did not turn out as expected. So I'm clearly uh, in training, trying to follow the uh, the commander's lead. I think it's important to note, though, that we are going to the International Space Station. Between myself and all the uh, crew members, we're going to be conducting some 25 different experiments encompassing 100 hours plus multiple outreaches to the youth around the world, and we think that's important for not but uh, the future, so I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to talk to you as we go on the way, but uh, it's great to be in space, and I'm going to turn it over to my friend, uh, Eitan. Shalom lekulam kan ba Dragon. Nachnu kvar itragalnu la matzav shel choser kvida v'matchilim nitnahel b'nochiyut v'b'yeilut li'ish עוד אה, סימן קטן לחוסר כבידה, תמנון של הנכדה שלי. <laughs> השיגור היה מדהים. אנחנו עכשיו מעל אפריקה, בעוד כ-15 דקות נחצה מאוד קרוב לחופי ישראל. אני חושב שיהיה לילה, אז יהיה לי, אולי אני אראה את החוף, תלוי בעננים. בגובה 420 קילומטר ובמהירות של 8 קילומטר לדקה. אז מי, אנחנו נצטרף לתחנת החלל בעוד כשעתיים, בעוד שעה נלבש את החליפות חזרה ונתכונן לחיבור. להתראות בקרוב. With that, uh, we'd like to sign off. We've got to get some preparations underway for uh, docking to the space station, including donning our suits, cleaning up the cabin a little bit, and uh, getting ready for a series of maneuvers that will get us there, hopefully, uh, within just a few hours. And we're really looking forward to seeing our, our hosts, the ISS crew, once we arrive shortly. So thanks to everybody for tuning in. Thank you, SpaceX Mission Control, signing off.
Uh, that is awesome to hear from the crew. Um, I love that MLA said there are smiles that are still being worn. So it looks like the crew is in good shape and having a lot of fun up in space. And so there you have it. It's a, you know, That was our live on-orbit update from the Axiom-1 crew headed to the International Space Station. The four-person astronaut crew is set to dock with the, with the space station between 4 and 5 a.m. Pacific time. So while our coverage will end here for now, be sure to tune back in for our live docking coverage starting at 2.30 a.m. Pacific on both AxiomSpace.com and SpaceX.com. Thanks for tuning in for the live on-orbit event, and we'll see you again in a few hours for docking.